Hey, what's up guys? Pallav here from nothingwire.com and we are testing the new Honor 5C that was released in India yesterday and we are testing NFS No Limit. It has a 16 nanometer Kirin 650 chipset which, which is octa-core, 64 bit. I'm just going to reduce the sound a bit. And so far so good. It has 2 GB of RAM. The octa-core SOC or system op chip it has a 2 gigahertz chip a quad core chip and a 1.7 gigahertz quad core chip the NFS no limit looks quite good just gonna go on for slightly longer Honor promises that the new Kirin 650 chipset, because of its architecture, will give you about 65% more performance than some of the other, you know, bigger architecture phones. Plus also, because it's uh, relatively thinner, so it'll heat less, it'll also you can also squeeze it in a thinner device or uh, in other words you can squeeze in more into one device NFS low limit no problem next is modern combat 5 and the movie looks smooth no lag whatsoever good yeah. let's keep this and good the shooting seems okay. Does not lag. Take him out. Weapons free. Very smooth. No problem whatsoever. Strike two to Monarch. Target eliminated. Confirm extraction location. Over. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Thanks. The textures are also good. They're rendering beautifully and high quality. We're in Venice. Come on in. The zoom is, is consistent, does not lag. That's good. So in modern combat five he is smooth overall. Mortal Kombat X. Not bad. Smooth. No problem. Yeah, even the animations are fine. The Modern Combat X smooth again. Dungeon Hunter 5. The animation looks okay, the movie is not lagging, there is no skipping of frames, so it's fine. Good. Got it. Time to go meet 
Officer Baker's contact. Looks good. It's overall smooth when uh, you know even when there are multiple characters on the screen. So when Dungeon Hunter 5 is very very smooth. Yeah. So that was our gameplay review and the device does not heat up much. See that's what I was talking about about a 16 nanometer architecture. Thank you.